Uh, welcome. We've had our first student, Vidahi, solve uh, our first extra credit puzzle, and I want to share with the whole class how she did it. She did an <clears throat> excellent job of analysis. So the uh, puzzle she solved was the combination lock puzzle. So they're all here under extra credit. Uh, it was an interesting problem. It gave us six locks, each with uh, six variable numbers, different numbers, all integers. Um and it told us that the combinations, once we set this, had to add up to 419. Now, trial and error is going to be very difficult because um, if you've got any statistics, six locks, six combinations, that's six to the sixth power. That's a very large number, I think 46,000 or something. Anyways, trial and error is going to be a little bit difficult. And trial and error certainly isn't scalable so the ideal is to come up with some sort of tool or equation, which is what she did, to solve this for us. So let me walk through a little bit of her answer, and then we'll walk through how she actually got this. What she did is she set up each lock with the numbers of what they were. That's those columns. Then she set up a column that said yes or no. In other words, the lock is either on, which is a 1, or the lock is not on, which is a 0. What she did down here is the sum, she said this times this column, <clears throat> which in most cases is going to give us a zero because it's not going to be on, and summed up each one of these, which basically gave us whichever number was on, right? Same thing for column two. And then what she did over here is she summed up all of these individual lock numbers, added one thing here that says, what is the sum of all of these? Because this, if you think about it, I can only have each lock on one number. So we're going to force this. One of our constraints is going to be that this number has to be 1 and that each one of these lock numbers has to be binary, i.e. the either a 0 or a 1. So the way she set this up was sort of with a solver with which optimized force this to be 419 by changing my lock combinations to either on or off, subject to the constraints that these must be binary and that I can only have one number for each lock. So just to walk through how you would do this in Excel, down here, let's set each one of these to zero because that's how you would begin the problem. You would say, I do not know what the combination is. So I've said down here, I've said each one of these equal to zero. What we've done here is we've said, this is a summation of these columns. This is a summation of these columns. This is a summation of these columns. This right here is a product of this times this, this times this, plus this times this, plus this times this, plus this times this, plus this times this. And the reason it's zero is because all of the locks are turned to no right now because I'm going to ask Excel to solve it for me. But as soon as one of these becomes a one, if it's in this column, then a 39 will plop down here. Over here, we have, well, let's sum up all of these, i.e., the number on each one of the locks. And this is what we want to have equal to the 419. Now, if you don't have it already installed, you need to go to File, Options, and Add-ins, and make sure you have the Analysis Pack, and make sure you have the Solver add-in in the Analysis Tools. Okay? Once we have that, then we can go to our Data, and we can go to our Solver. Now, what I've set up here, she did all the work, set the objective. So what we want to do now that we've set this up is I want to set this cell right here, the one that sums up all of the individual lock numbers. I want to set that to not a max or a min. I want to set that to a specific value of 419. And I want to have Excel determine that 419 number by changing the cells all of these cells, right? The yes, no's for each column, right? So C16 to C21, uh, E16 to E21, and I just, I just hit this, highlighted the cells, control, added those. I want to allow Excel to change all of these to force it to be 419. Now, let me do that for you, just so you know. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to say, I want you to do it by changing these cells, and I put down the control, I'm holding down the control key, I 
okay? I want you to set this objective, that cell, I want you to set it to equal to 419 by changing these cells. Now, a couple constraints. We said add a couple constraints. All of these cells must be binary. So let me take all of this out and redo it for you. This is going to take a few seconds. Sorry. All right, let's talk about our constraints. We want all of these, all these yes or no's, have to be binary numbers. In other words, they have to be either zeros or ones. They, they have to either be on or off. I'm either on the, I'm either on 57 or I'm on 39 or I'm on six. Uh, I can't be 0 0.2. Binary means it's either a one or a zero, a yes or a no. So I got that one. Then I need to add a constraint for the second block. And those also have to be binary. I have to add a constraint for the third lock. All of these have to be binary. I have to add a constraint for the fourth one. All of these need to be binary. And so forth. And if I don't make a mistake, it'll be a miracle. Uh, all those. Okay. So I've set up that all of my numbers that I'm changing have to be binary. The locks have to be either on or off. A couple other constraints I need to add. If you think about it, I can only have one number per lock, right? So the sum of these, yes, no's, they have to equal one. I can't be on two numbers for each lock. So that has to be uh, equal to one. That has to be equal to one. That cell has to be equal to one. Okay, so I've set up objective function. This cell I want to force to 419 by changing my yes-no locks subject to the constraints that my yes-nos have to be binary and subject to the constraint that I can only be on one number per lock. Now I'm ready to say solve. I'm going to say keep the solvent, and there it solved it for me. The numbers are 88, 68, 91, 40, 49, 83, and they sum to 419. Um, hope this video helped. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Have a great day.